Hey, this is Mass X with a brand new One Punch Man The Strongest video. And yes, yes, CK's keepsake is out. It is. And if you pulled him, you should be getting it as soon as you can to maximize this character's potential. So let's show you what we're talking about. Well, first off, I have gotten the keepsake. I've already put it on him. I have some video from last week before the keepsake's on, and then we'll go ahead and do some testing after. But I've pretty much got my CK where I want him at. Not everything's perfect, but it's pretty darn close. I got this character clocking in now at a whopping, yeah, you see that right. Whew, and it took a lot of work. 15 million almost 16 million hp that the goal originally was 10 mil then it went to 15 um and i might be able to squeak it squeak out 16 if i'm lucky on top of that i got a decent block rate at almost 50 percent right now which i'm really liking at the moment now, as you can see, I went ahead and did the exclusive badge to six stars to completely take advantage of the AP, and the keepsake is at four stars. I've geared him with drive, like I think I showed last time. I'd already pre-prepped this before he released, and my buff gear is finally max starred across the board, getting that 35% HP buff all the way down to really assist with everything. And of course, with getting the keepsake now, you can go ahead and maximize his awakening inspiration to 5P. And with that, that's when you're getting that 60%, a 10% increase in damage which is not too bad at all. One of the reasons to get that keepsake. So right now is some video from last week. Um, and I've got actually two matches that I meant to upload, which I just haven't gotten around to because I've been so sick with um, CK before his keepsake. Again, absolutely amazing character even without the keepsake on him. But if you just want to make this character completely go over the top, um, you know, the keepsake is just going to do that. So go ahead and show a little of this. I don't know if we'll be able to see much of a difference. I'm hoping it will be the same type of setup when I play the same team with the keepsake. But Hopefully we'll see a big difference. We might not because quite honestly my CK is so freaking was overpowered by the time these matches came around last weekend because all I had been doing was basically dismantling characters to take resources to keep building and attempting to increase CK's HP stats. But, you know, if you've got him, you know what a decimator that character can be. But after this completes up, we'll go ahead and do a fresh match. Now, this one is going to be a little different because Hellfire's in instead of Watchdog Man. But again, we'll get the point right. So we've got CK in the middle. I didn't adjust my lineup at all. And with Hellfire, it'll actually be a better test. Hellfire... Um, and the extra shields do hold up a little longer, but you don't get that extra push out of CK by using Watchdog Man. So it really, to me, I, I still prefer Watchdog Man um, over the use of Hellfire. So there we got to see the new graphic. Not as cool as some of the other ones, honestly, in my opinion. Let's see if my bros can take this. Good. quite a bit of damage but that's if you're gonna run for us you're gonna take that chance if you're not paying attention so but this actually is a, a little bit better battle to show us give us a little bit more oomph to everything so there we go that was a 
nice little push on CK. This is how it generally ends up when <laughs> there's a Hellfire on the field. It's Hellfire and CK, and honestly, it's no different than when Watchdog Man is in because it's Watchdog Man and CK. Like I said, I actually really prefer Watchdog Man because I think you get two different, very different team dynamics to use when you use Watchdog Man, and that's why I like it. All right, let's see. Can he put him down? This might kill my Boros. <laughs> yep, but he still was able to take him out. So yeah, that was a little quicker than the last time I had played that team setup before the keepsake. Not a lot quicker, but again, you can see the new little graphic you get. But again, I think, is it a must get? Well, it, if, you're, if you're going all in on CK, you might as well get it. It's worth it, but he's still a valuable character even without the keepsake, but I do think you're gonna be happy with it, especially if you're playing against other CKs um, to give you that additional damage to help really eliminate the other side's team because let's be honest, it turns out into a battle of CKs in the end and Watchdog Bands as their backup or Hellfires as you saw on that last one. But yeah, that's about it. Let me know how your building's going on your CK. I think I am officially going to back off him for now and not try to do any more on the buff gears and just start saving resources because who knows what's next around the corner, right? Especially with the holidays coming. So with that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a great day.